Welcome back to the Surge 2 full walkthrough covering all DLC items and alternate boss kills. We're back in the med bay where I left you guys last time uh, with the homework to level up. And as you can see, I have increased all of my gear and leveled up my implant. So I'm able to take injection. It's now MK4. And the rest of my gear is MK5. One thing that I forgot to mention is that you can kill the AID hounds, those uh, robot dogs or scorpions with the tail. And they will drop MK6 parts as well as a weapon, um, which is actually this weapon, the AID Warhound, which is a decent enough heavy duty weapon, does quite a bit of damage. Um, and after you uh, get that by chopping their right leg, you can continually chop the right leg and get uh, MK6 crafting components so that you can um, level up your codename Zarathustra. Uh, it only drops the weapon component, so the tungsten. It doesn't drop MK6 um, arms or legs. So that's one thing you can do if you didn't notice that while you were farming. Um, no big deal. We're going to kill a number of hounds as we go through, so you can go ahead and get that weapon off of them um, if you want, or you can also uh, drop down here and farm, so I'll show you how you can get to them quickly in case you want to at this point. Um, so you see, if you creep back this back entrance here, um, you just have that guy there to deal with in the hound. You can go straight for the hound if you feel confident, but if you want to play it safe, you can drop down here um, and isolate this guy. And just pull him back and fight him down here. And nothing else will aggro you. For the Hound, it's really difficult to target just the right leg and get that component. Um, and you can't jump up there from here, too. Uh, one thing we'll want to do is make sure people know about that piece of loot. Um, so you wait for that guy to roam back down there. And then once his back is turned, you come out here and target the right leg. And you want to kind of be careful um, when you're attacking the right leg. You can do R1, R2, R2 combo uh, if you want. But if you get the stun in, you can hit it okay. Um, otherwise, just go for the uh, directional blocks if you can get them. So if you do that, it's easy to get the sever, in which case you'll chop off the leg. And there is the tungsten alloy MK5 or the uh, weapon. AID Warhound. So that's how you get that. Um, it's fine, don't worry about it if you didn't get it. There are more hounds as we go through AID Command, which is the next area we're going to head to. So we're going to do all of AID Command um, in this episode first, and then we'll come back out and clear out uh, the rest of downtown Jericho and get the items uh, that we haven't obtained yet uh, before proceeding on with Gideon's Rock. You might wonder why I'm going to um, AID command first. And the reason for that is because that gives you access to the, uh, the force hook um, a little bit earlier than you would otherwise get it. And that's going to let you also complete uh, Rex's quest um, and give you access to a shortcut that you might not get until later in the game. So I'm trying to show you the earliest path easiest path through. Um, so completing it, you can do it either way. You can go for Gideon's Rock or this way, and after doing it this way, I actually like it better. So there's a guy up here with a sniper rifle. We're going to want to take him out. And I'm just going to go for his head. There's no point in messing around with this guy. We already have all of the loot that we want. So he is now down. And there is one more robot that we're going to 
want to get out there. Um, you can also go for the body on these, and if you go for the body, you get the leg pneumatics adapter, which is an implant that reduces stamina cost of performing evasive moves. It's only 15%, but it's kind of handy. Um, there's also a little bit of loot here, so I'll put a break sign there. And that's, I mean, you can run, run around down there. There's nothing in any of those boxes. Now, there's two ways to go at this point. You can go up the steps here if you want. Um, or you can go back up that mag lift. I might as well just do this part here because we've got a guy waiting for us down here. So we'll take him out. In fact, I don't even feel like messing with him. So he's dead. And then you've got another scanner gate uh, or uh, a gateway that you can open up here. So that opens back up to the courtyard where the robot dog was. Grab this loot up here really quick. We've got a medical diary audio log. 16, Dr. Sorensen. This goddamn evacuation has been progressing at a snail's pace. We need to treat everybody before it's too late, but the government is paranoid. Of all the slurs I can think of, politician is by far the worst. Yesterday, the first wave of survivors was transferred to a camp outside Jericho City. I should have gone with them. I can't leave before I finish this hot mess of a job. My goddamn patients need me more than ever. So for the implant that we just got, uh, where is it? So it's a um, health leech injectable, um, and I never use this one. The only injectable I use really is the medical tag injector, um, just so that I don't have to worry about swapping around injectables. Now we could have dropped down over on the other side of the gate um, through that lift that we were doing, but you'll see that there's a bit of loot up there that we want to get. And I also kind of want to take out this guy, even though we have to run down the hall, it's actually easier to take him out rather than dropping down. Um, so we will go up the other path and do a couple other things really quick. So drop down here, go up the mag lift. Then you'll want to come out here and jump across that way in order to get this piece of loot. Um, and then if you can get back across by jumping, great. If not, just run back up the steps. And then we're going to come in here. Um... Oh, no. Oh, we got to be up one more level. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought we had locked that, locked that grate somehow. Um, so you want to go up the steps one more level and then drop through the roof of this uh, AID command tent. And that'll give you the muscular uh, enhancement injection, which is also an injectable, increases damage and electro by a bit. Um, and this one is actually, if you're running an electric build, uh, with the Spark Galvanizer set, which we'll get probably two episodes from now, um, then this is one to consider actually using. It's it's decent, but I tend not to even bother. All right, so that clears out that area, basically. Um, and we'll want to go down here and try and kind of take out this guy as easily as we can. You can just hold the lock and his bullet won't hit you. Then you have this guy out here and he's bait. Be careful because there's another guy that can roam up um, that will attack you alongside this guy if you engage when he's facing. And I think he's right over there now. Yep. So I'm going to back off around 
here and drag this guy back a little bit so I don't aggro both of them at the same time. I can take both of them, but just playing it safe to make it easier for you guys. So you've got that roamer, you got a couple of roamers down at the other end, and then you've got one of the um, little drone bots. And that's the guy we're going to try and get solo if we can. There we go, got him. And up to you how you take him out now. We already have the J JCPD um, taser grip, so you can go for the body if you want. You can go for uh, arm for more tungsten if you want. But you want to try and get him solo. Um, and then this guy is roaming back to run around, so it makes the fight with him. Then you got another one behind us to the left, so he should engage while we're doing this. Two more down there. Um, one of them will roam to the right, so we're going to creep around to the right or wait for him to go back and get this one like this. I guess I'll go for body on this guy. All right, so this is another one of the uh, urban armor set guys. Um, should hopefully be a little bit easier now that you're geared up. Go for whichever body part you want. And that'll give us the um, code name Lohengrin. Uh, staff weapon, which is actually pretty good as staff weapons go, particularly as, as it's code name, so it works well with the angel armor set. So that has cleared out the entire lower level of the camp. There's still two guys up top. So we're going to go up here and we'll be a little bit careful when we're fighting them. Um, chances are we'll get both, but if we can get one at a time, that's better. You can see the other one has now spotted me and tried to shoot me in the back. Coward. Before we go into uh, AID or Campway Gateway Bravo, which is up that lift there, uh, you're going to want to drop down here and get the loot. So I'm actually going to leave a tag here because most people probably missed this. Uh, let's get it right about there. So that's the rig capacitor XL which you can see prevents the decay of two batteries. Uh, 
since we've already gotten our um, electricity, well, I'll show you when we get to the med bay. We're up to 75 on battery power, and so I'm boosting health at this point. Um, but since we have that high of battery power, our batteries uh, degrade really slow, so no point in using that one. about to get the most powerful weapon in the game. A new heaven awaits those who repent for their sins. Renounce all worldly possessions and embrace heavenly judgment. You too <laughs> There we go. We got it. Protest sign. So the protest sign <laughs> is actually uh, lowest base damage weapon in the game, but it's hilarious. Um, and one of these days I might do a playthrough just using this, maybe a New Game Plus. I'll see if I can get through all the New Game Plus just using this. Um, but <laughs> you now I have a protest sign. He doesn't have a whole lot to say. We got the med bay over here, so I'll show you what I was talking about really quick. And I'm not going to spend my tech scrap yet. I'll, I'll bank it since we don't need it. Um, but I, you can see I'm starting to level up my health at this point because I have 75 battery efficiency. So that's unlocked all five batteries. We have great efficiency now, our heals heal for a lot, our drone does a lot of damage. So we can leave that at 75 and start bumping up health to about 30 or so. After that, we'll finally start boosting stamina. I'm losing my mind here. So we'll come over here and talk to our good friend, Ben Burke. Welcome hey, ben. to Gateway Bravo. Bummer we missed the evac by a couple of weeks. Well, at least I've gone legit. Joined the official search and rescue corps. Helping people as best I can. This damn city is more messed up than the Creo complex. And here I was, thinking I'd left all that technology run amok stuff behind. Well, at least I can finally give you a little something for your help. Here, you helped me out big time. I won't forget it. Something like a power surge went through the whole system. Melted circuits and brains alike. And the whole damn factory tore itself apart. I lost my whole team in there. Even Smithy. But this time, I swear I'll keep people safe. You can see the uh, uh, robots, mechs, kind of walking around up top up there patrolling, too. Attention to detail. It's pretty cool. Seems so. Maybe they ran out of resources, or maybe they just don't know where to send us anymore. I mean, who even knows if it's better anywhere else? Creo development. I think they were supposed to repair the atmosphere because the other stuff wasn't working. But after everything that went down at the facility, they must have gone rogue. Take care, okay? So Ben is almost a benefactor for us. I mean, we let him out of jail, and now he's given us two sets of them. Thank you, Ben. Listen, I didn't say nothing about that cargo hatch, okay? You know what they say, don't you? Snitches get, uh, punched in the face. Who knows? If they had enough money and the right social ranking, they were carted off. That's as much as I can tell you. Our comm system's been down for days now. For all I know, the ones who stayed behind are the lucky ones. Who knows? Our comms... Between you and me, most officials are hiding away in their evacuation bunkers. Inspiring leadership, huh? Just trying to make a difference, bud. No matter what happens, I just won't give up hope. I'll help anyone who makes it here for as long as it takes. 
trying to make a difference, bud. No matter what, I'll help. Take care. Now, you can run around in the camp if you want to. There's nothing else to really grab in here other than Dr. Sorensen. Um, if you want to plant your banner um, back over there, not a lot of people check behind the scanner gate. Uh, but that's one spot you can do it. But here we'll talk to Dr. Sorensen, and this is where you get the second really good mod or implant um, from that I mentioned at the beginning of the game. If you have the Mining Force Veteran background, since we're search and rescue, she'll sell something else. So we'll go ahead and buy that implant, but I'll show you two episodes from now where you can get the implant that she sells. Oh God, another one. So, what ails you? Defrag? Smallpox? Hemorrhoids? Whatever it is, I'll patch you up. Old Dr. Sorensen will treat anything at a discount. Anything except radiation poisoning, okay? Don't need any more blood on my hairy old jittery hands. <sighs> See those three chuckleheads in the back room? They're search and rescue guys. Came down with radiation poisoning. Damn fools. I'm useless without meds. Just a wrinkled old crone spouting cynical nonsense. I can't help anybody. Just like that, huh? Maybe there's still some humanity left in this rotten wasteland after all. If I could afford sentimentality in this line of work, that almost warm my old shriveled heart. Okay, if you're really up for it, scour AID command for leftover meds. Someone might have left a crate in one of the medical tents. Should be easy enough, but remember, time is of the essence. If we don't finish this job soon, those guys can kiss their disease-ridden asses goodbye. Bad short-term memory, huh? I should give you a checkup sometime. Just go to AID Command and look for leftover radiation meds. Oh, and come back on the double. These bozos won't last much longer. Also, if you do find the meds, guard them like your life depends on it. Some less reputable doctors would pay a fortune for those drugs. No, I am cynical, and darn proud of it, too. Curing others takes its toll, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, that turned out to be a complete joke, didn't it? I came here to save people. Now I'm trapped in a stinking refugee camp, unable to make a difference. Here, take this small gift. It's the best I can do to help. So we'll go ahead and buy everything that she has to offer, uh, including the deflection auto defender, so that increases defense after you do a directional block. We've got just enough left over to level up one more and unlock our next implant slot. Oh, we can do it a couple of times. We got about the tech scrap reward from Ben Burke. Thank you, Ben. So I'm just going to keep on boosting health, like I said. Um, that gives us four spare core power. And we have to find the radiation med medicine in the AID command. And if you don't do that quickly enough and return it to her, then the guys die and she's not happy. Um, so you kind of want to do that as quickly as you can. Um, so that's another reason to come and do AID command before you go out to Gideon's Rock, before you take on Ezra. So it just gives you an opportunity to take care of that. We're still a little bit short of being able to use the energy dynamo. Um, I could swap out the uh, battery adrenalizer, but it's six and one half of those that are the other as to which is more effective. So I'm just going to wait until I've got uh, three more core power, and then I'll slot that in. I could, in the meantime, use something like this, the improved transistors. So I might as well go ahead and slot that but it's not going to make a huge difference um, but I think in terms of four core power that's probably the best way to go I could increase my drone ability a little bit or um, you know get more energy back when I successfully direction a block or something like that but I think I'll just stick with this one until I get three more and then do the energy dynamo oh and if you hear a banner um, sound and you're looking for the the other players' banners, 
A lot of people like to drop it back here behind uh, Dr. Sorensen's camp, or tent. Go talk to these two. Unbelievable. So the government took us for all we're worth. At first they used us to build the darn wall, then they drop us like we're nothing. Bastards. Now they'll regret what they did, just you wait. Our boss went back to the scavenger camp in the government complex. Wants to steal everything that isn't nailed down. The government's made a huge mistake. You don't mess with that guy. He'll torch the place if he has to. And into AID command. Got a quest update that the stranger will contact us later. Don't worry about it. Um, if you have the stranger's face mask, you're on track, and you have already talked to Warren and given him the um, armor set, so we're okay for this part. Grab the loot on your way down, drop it down here. Um, there's a dude just down there. We'll take him out. Could have done a diving attack, but. Just creep up behind him. Now this guy has the carbide cable whip if you sever the right arm. So you want to try and do that if you can. And there's lots of good um, weapons in here. That'll also give you a piece of the liquidator arm gear schematic if you didn't get it earlier. Carbide Cable Whip is a single rigged weapon um, that kind of mediocre in damage overall. So it's way down here uh, versus, you know, Heavy Dude is 148, this is 141. So it's going to fall behind as you level it up, so it's probably not worth the bother. Nothing over there. You do have an audio log here. can see a chest down there but this is locked and there is only one way that you can manage to get to loot that chest all it has is a bit of tech scrap inside so if you mess it up don't worry too much but from this point forward if you die at all you won't be able to get that tech scrap in that chest so you want to stay alive we'll unlock the med bay here go unlock two shortcuts really quick could do those later. Actually, we'll do the shortcuts later. We don't need them. We'll get those on the way back to Cloud9. Try and make this on you, easy, as easy on you guys as I can. So if you go up here, you'll note that there's no way um, that you can continue on. You need the force hook uh, before you can use that zip line or the exit line. Same thing with that one, you're not going to get anywhere. But if you come down here, you have a little bit of loot. And in fact, I will tag that. We got our friend here. for the cyber if you want, or you can go for the body, up to you, we got all his loot, and we're going to wait for that guy down there. So that is the DLC boss that drops the, um, the mascot armor set, and there are two guys that'll uh, drop down and ambush us if we go further in, so we're going to just try and 
let's sever that. Now, there are other places we can farm this set uh, in the game later on, but I'm going to come back here and farm this guy a bit later after we proceed through the rest of the board. So once we get everything else done, then I'll come back and mess with him some more. Now, this enemy will drop a reinforced gouger. So try and go for the sever if you can. I did not mean to take him out in one shot. Uh, I believe he drops the reinforced... Um, Forest Crusher, if I remember right. Which you can get from enemy, other enemies too. Um, since we didn't do the shortcut, normally I do the shortcut, uh, you can also get a um, set of weapons off of this guy. And I'm doing way too much damage at this point. So for those two guys, I uh, probably just want to do the drone cut. Um, we also have a DLC weapon here which is the Ignis. So just use your drone to sever the arm. And you can see you've got another of uh, the Andy Hounds. So, you know, if you missed earlier, or you didn't want to farm, this is a good spot to go for the right leg. Um, since I already have the right leg, and we'll come over here and get our loot. And here is the Ignis. So the MG Ignis. Uh, you can see it's kind of like base damage wise it's significantly lower than the Foreman's Divine Hand. It's currently the highest MK2 weapon we have. But it has a lot of fire damage, high energy gain, and fast stabs are fast. So this is actually a pretty good weapon if you want to do fire damage. It'll stack the fire effect really quickly, um, and all around it's just a good weapon. Now you want to be careful because, it, because there are pools of nano um, goo all over the ground in this area. So just be careful not to stay in it too long or you'll get burst damage down take this guy out when he comes down the lift. And that's another spot where you can get the rig capacitor XL. You can see the scanner gate uh, has been triggered by something, but not us. And then you can pick up some loot back here. Uh, maybe I should... No, I guess somebody else did tag that there's a pathway here. Good, good looking out. Uh, and then there's also some loot back over here in that crate. You can jump across and then get back over here. Um, try not to stay in the toxic effect for too long, because if you do, uh, that can drain a whole lot of health. And then you want to take out the robot first. Before you get the other guys. Here. In fact, I'll mark that. And we'll take out this guy here. Oh, I missed the backstab. Shame on you. Now that we 
we've taken him out. We can go ahead, disable the scanner gate. And there's some loot that we can actually get back in here. So there's an audio log and loot. Your name's Athena, right? Get Mari. So, you can talk after all. That's a start. You're with us now, sweetheart. No need to be afraid anymore. Where are you taking us? What's going on with the other kids? You'll find out soon enough. But first, you have to answer some questions. You're a big girl, aren't you? I'm sure you can do it. So, just let know you can go in there and get loot um, now that armor set that we just got a piece for is the nano ward um, armor set uh, and I'll show you all of these really quickly in our set so fairytales mascot set which we got off of the DLC enemy um, that looks like a wolf it's basically a DPS set so when you directionally block you can increase damage for a short time and it also increases damage um, with each successful hit so it's kind of a DPS set focused on directional blocks. Um, Liquidator set uh, increases all of your elemental defenses and also reduces the damage taken from poison and nano. So a good kind of defensive stat set, uh, particularly against elemental enemies like Delver. Um, and the Nano Ward set is also a very good defensive set, um, which has a pretty interesting effect of triggering a nano explosion whenever you successfully directionally block. So it's another directionally block set um, and it reduces the stamina cost of blocking attacks too. So that's uh, useful. Um, we also got a piece of the scarab armor which I didn't show you in the last episode as we were running through downtown uh, which reduces the uh, duration of, of the um, electrical or the elemental effects and increases defense based on how many batteries are charged. And actually, I think, now that I think about it, I think I took mention that one too. Um, but we only have the arm pieces for those, so we'll go ahead and grab the other um, armor pieces as we proceed through. Now, you've got another one of the bots here. Nobody found my banner. Quite pleased with that. Where should we drop the banner this time? I'll show you when we get back to the med bay. Um, a good spot to drop it. So you want to just aggro him without aggroing the guy up top. Until you're almost in, you've almost killed this guy and then it's okay if he sees you. There's one that'll roam around up top there. So we'll just drag him down. Assuming nah, he's not gonna see us. Alright, we'll go up and kill him. Notice if you look over there, there is some loot, so we're going to want to jump out and grab that. If it'll let me tag it, there we go. And you can actually jump over here. Um, and you'll notice if you look carefully, there's also loot up there. And I haven't figured out a way to tag that to make people aware of it yet. So most people actually miss that piece of loot. But we will be getting it a little bit later. Now if you stand here and watch this uh, sort of action G.I. Joe coming down the, uh, the 
wire there with a kung fu grip. If you watch this too long, he's actually going to shoot you. So the camera lowers. He comes out the zip line. And right about now, he'll start shooting you. So you don't want to let him shoot at you. Instead, we'll drop down here. Use the wall for protection. And we're going to run over and fight that guy. Before we go up the steps over here to continue on for progress, you'll notice that the mysterious stranger has left you an exit sign this way. Um, so you'll trigger that. We won't go in there quite yet. Instead, we're going to go up this uh, mag lift. So loot here, as well as dropping down. Here for loot. And that's the best that I can do. I've been able to find to mark this, so if that's confusing for you guys, too bad. But that's what we're trying to get right there. And we'll just run back through the way we were just coming and drop down here, hopefully not get shot at. Hang a left and continue opening up the pathway back to the med bay. There's another little bit of loot right around the corner here. And unfortunately, I'm, I'd have to wait a long time for my drone, but usually I like to mark this wall, or tag this wall, and, and leave a symbol letting people know that there's some loot right around the corner. Just a few more seconds, I'll be good. I'm so helpful to other players. Now you want to be sure to shoot that so you can use the mag lift here in case you die. Um, you can come back up that way. A couple of shortcuts here. So right down here, and then this brings us out into a container that if you were to use your loot scanner, you would get this object and wonder how you can pick it up. Well, now you know. So that opens up the shortcut back to the med bay, and I'll show you really fast where I, one of my spots where I like to plant my banner to make it difficult to find here. So some people like to do back there. I like to be even more tricky and go back up here. So not a lot of people think to look back there. And we can go back to the shortcut that we just opened up and run back to the steps that we're going up. Come the steps here, you're going to open the door to the right, and you'll have two guys out here that you need to deal with. So if you want to play it safe uh, and not get shot at too much, the first guy is right there around the corner. Second one is over there, so we're going to just try and bait this guy and then pull back into here. That should at least cause him to stop shooting at you and take out his head. come over in here and deal with this one. Or he can fall down and then we'll have to jump down and kill him down there. It's what you 
get for trying to run away. Um, now you're gonna open up the door on the other side, and in a little while we'll be able to open up that as a shortcut, but for now we gotta go this way. Be sure to look to your right so you'll get the starfish to drop the scanner gate, and you also get another piece of the nano ward uh, gear, the legs. And so I like to drop a tag here just so that people know. To look right to find loot. So as they come through the door there, they should spot it. Here is where we get the quest item, Radicure. So now we can return the medicine to Dr. Soren, and we want to do that as quickly as possible, but not quite yet. We're going to clear out this whole area. Um, so we don't have to fight our way back through to make it as efficient as possible. Now you'll notice that there's another uh, robot up top, and we're going to want to use our last pistol to shoot him down. And then we'll stun him with our starfish, or not. We'll trap him in the tent instead. <laughs> Crazy robot dog. And he's not as bad as having two of these drone, flying drone things out here to deal with at the same time. So if you can, try and lure one of these solo. And we'll see if we got him. Nope, we got both. Target the body against these guys if you can. They do, even though we're now in full MK5 gear, they can put out a lot of damage. And the two of them combined, yeah, it's a good way to get yourself killed. Um, and we want to make sure that we let people know. This can be broken for loot. A little bit more loot here, and we don't want to go down there quite yet. We got one more AID hound to deal with, and we can also grab that loot over there. So we'll go ahead and do that. Could be farming these for legs too if you wanted, so I'll just demonstrate. That'll drop the MK6 uh, crafting component, tungsten. So we got two of those now. Could have been farming those the entire time for that. It's up to you which one uh, you want to go for the tail for more um, implant improvement or more tungsten. But if you want to, you can always come back and farm those too, or farm the one by the scanner gate. Now this guy's a little bit tricky because he'll notice you and usually that causes the other guy to aggro too. And I'm going to go for his head. That gives you the battery auto healer, which is a very good implant. Now before we mess around, well I'll show you that one. Why not? So the battery auto healer, uh, whenever you top up a battery, you gain a small amount of health. So you know I'm going to want to use that. And that's going to require me to get rid of two of them. It's sort of worth it. And I could slot in, and when I get some more um, health, or more uh, core power, then I'll be able to put some more implants back in. So don't worry about having a slot. For 
now, it's just more efficient to have that to heal us. Now, if you mess up the Iron Mouse quest, or the uh, Mysterious Stranger quest, uh, the Witness, then Warren will be in this jail cell here. Uh, but we didn't. We did it right. So we can just proceed on through this area. And that is the lobby of the hospital. Before we go in there, we're going to want to come back here, play the audio log. Medical log number 41, Dr. Rita Saunders. I finally hired the right guy to find us more kids. His name's Dan Tadanakuji. Everyone has a price. And his was surprisingly low. This is so messed up. Medical log number 42, Dr. Rita Saunders. Dan has delivered in spades. Never questioned our motive. Never tried to find out the truth. He's been a brave little soldier indeed. Just like myself. May God forgive us for what we're about to do to those kids. We've got blood on our hands. Every single one of us. These people are horrible. Um, Alright, so when you're coming in here, be a little bit careful. You don't want to go for that guy even though he's uh, baiting you. Instead, what you're going to want to do is look at this guy. And you'll notice in his right arm, he's got this really cool looking staff, or spear rather. We definitely want to get that. And unfortunately, I'm, I'm a little worried about uh, backstabbing, so I'm not going to go for the backstab. Instead, I'll do one of those. So I did R2, R1, R1. Um, and that did enough damage that I should get the Wave of Tomorrow, which is a DLC weapon. And as you can see, it's got great electricity damage, very fast attack speed, it's low impact, but the damage on this thing is very good. So it's just, um, what, 15 behind the Experiment 44H, which is one of the highest damaging weapons in that class. Uh, and it gets some additional 29 electricity damage. So low stamina consumption, this is really good. Um, and in fact, you know, it's up to you whether you'd rather use the spear or the punching gloves. I'm going to stick with the punching gloves just because we've upgraded it. Um, so we might as well stick with that. But if you like spears, uh, that's a good option for you. There's a better spear in the game, which comes from Brother Truman, which we'll get in a couple episodes. Um, but that one works um, almost as well. Just low energy gain. sure to get the Polaris, AID Polaris body gear from that guy. And there's nothing else really um, in this area. Just had to take out the receptionists. When we come in here though, there'll be another vision. Starting interrogation. Subject 86, Athena Gutenberg. I have studied your landmark readings, Athena. They're incredible. Tell me what happened on that plane. What are you talking about? Just let me go! Fine. Don't cooperate. Our text will know soon enough. Let's just say I think you have enormous potential. give us parting gift parting gift as nano damage weapons go it is double duty so it's gonna hit really fast and stack fast and it, it's okay um, you know it's behind it's the lowest uh, damage weapon in that tier uh, but if you add in the nano damage it's okay so if you're looking to do nanite and you like double duty Now for this room, you're going to want to be a little bit careful. You've got three scientists down there. Um, you 
got a guy down there and you've got an MG Cerberus guy in the room in the left there. Um, so I'm going to bait this guy down and take him out solo. Then we'll get one of the doctors solo, then we'll take out those two guys over there. And you want to be really careful not to aggro the scientists. That'll give us the AD key card. Um, we're gonna go get one more key card from this area and clear it out before we start to go open up doors. If you wanna be safe right now and absolutely get that piece of loot that we saw earlier, um, then you can actually go in and do it. Now. Actually, you know what? Skip it. I'll, I'll play it as safe as possible for you. Um, I forgot about that piece of loot. Let's do this as safe as possible and make sure you get that little piece of loot. And there's one more that we can get now that we have that key card as well. Um, so we'll run back out this way. And we'll come up here drop down here, drop down here, drop down here, and we should be able to open up this door now. Whoops, no, okay, we need the officer's key card for that. <laughs> whoops, whoops, whoops. We'll come back when we get that other key card and get that door, sorry. Um, but we can get, we should be able to get other door which opens up to the underground I believe it is this key card so you remember this door um, that we saw previously no, that's not the key card for that. That's really weird. Okay. My bad. We'll have to come back and do that in just a minute. We get one more key card. That should open up all the other two doors there. So I guess this one opens up the one on the side. I usually play th fight through and, and get the other key card, so I didn't realize there was this difference or this one didn't open those doors. But you get used to running through the shortcuts this way, right? And there is quite a bit of backtracking we're going to have to do in here to um, get all of the loot and complete the quests. So don't sweat it too much. A lot of running back and forth here. Alright, we're back to this room anyway. Um, and you'll have a scientist down here to the right. We don't have the right arm or his staff yet for this set, so we're going to go ahead and get those. And I believe we still need the leg for the Polaris set. And I didn't show you the Polaris set yet, it's not all that great, to be honest. Uh, it increases energy gain if you're low on batteries, uh, and it also... If you have more than three batteries, you'll take less damage from taking hits, but the defense on this is so low anyway that, I mean, you're better off just using, that's that's like a lost partial set bonus, basically, because the defense is so weak on this thing. Um, so you're better off going with something else. The INF uh, Lab Zazim is a decent enough staff, um, so it's not doing as much damage as the Lohengrin, but it's okay-ish right? Uh, high enough energy gain, um, so on and so forth, but you're probably better off if you want a non-elemental staff doing the low and grid. Okay, we're going to come over here and do the 
these two guys. So for that one, I'm going to get the leg. And then for this guy, we're going to want to get his headpiece. Because he also has the DLC weapon. So just in case you're missing any of the DLC implants, this guy should drop. And there you go. Energized Material Converter. Um, and that is a great implant to have for when you're out crafting or um, farming crafting material uh, parts. So you get two parts instead of one uh, every time you do an execution. And we've also got the Polaris Light Gear. And we're good to go. Now, we'll get that. I believe that. I lead a moral life, set an example, be a good man. I've fallen short on every single count. Maybe my time is over. Maybe humanity has played its role. Exit stage left. Nobody's going to ask for an encore. What use are we when our own creations eclipse us? Humanity will be to machines what our pets are to us, obedient slaves, content to serve their masters. Now you want to be careful here, um, usually I get that guy to the right, uh, just how I pulled him down. And then I will fight this guy. I'm going to try and get the executes. six tungsten if we want it and then before you go up the steps here and get the next key card um, we're gonna drop down below here get this loot and another audio log come with me Athena it's time, it's time for a final test. you mean my final test don't you no Athena I don't you're essential to our plan but this test is for all of us not just you and me. This is about every single human alive. Soon, very soon, we'll know if we're still the masters of our own fate. All right. Be careful with this guy. He is MK7. You're going to want to focus on his right arm because he'll drop a good weapon, and this will give us our first piece of the MG Cerberus set. He can hit really hard. So just be careful. He also has a shield. So take out the shield first. R1, R2, R2 works well. Um, you can go for the defect directional blocks if you want to. you can play it safe like that. So that gives you the MG Cerberus arm gear, which does basically the same thing as uh, the set that we're currently wearing, the Urban Armor set, but it's just better across the board um, stats-wise. And we also picked up the AD Type 11 Overseer, which does a good bit more. You can see it does 50 base damage more, base DPS more, um, has higher impact and better energy gain than the weapon we're using now. So you can consider swapping over to that. It's actually a pretty good weapon. Um, but I like the, the electricity effect, so even though this does 30 damage less, 
um, overall. I'm going to stick uh, with the uh, codename Zarathustra until we get um, a different weapon a couple episodes from now. That one's still locked, right? Yeah, okay. So we're going to get the next key card here in a second. No big deal. Bait that guy down, try and get him solo. We've got a scientist to the left. A combination of the two can be um, really bad. Just checking to make sure that we've got the full player set, right? Yeah. Arm, body, leg, head. Good. Alright, so there's the scientist. Um, go for whatever body part you want now. So you're gonna come out and play or just stand there? Howard. Oh, almost got me. There's the AID command key card. Uh, we can come around here and get another piece of the Nano Warren body gear. And we'll do the whole talking to Warren and all of that in a minute. Instead, I'm going to go open up those doors that I couldn't open before. Make sure we got the loot. Stay away from the force hook for now too. I know it kind of sucks that you have to run back here repeatedly. But hey, I'm not the one who made the uh, doors require a key card that you don't get until the end of the uh, map. So I'll open up this one. I should actually. tag highlighted that this is there. Well, I'll do it when I come back. Um, there is another guy out here, so we'll take him out. And we've got the last piece of the Nano Ward set. That's going to be a little bit confusing, isn't it? There we go. And to open up those other doors, we can just take that shortcut there. Gives us a cache of advanced tech, which is pretty good tech scrap reward. Um, and I think I can actually get back up into that area there. So you can get back to the med bay this way. There we go. We should be able to open up that door now. And that opens up to the underground. So this is the only way that you can get what's in this chest. And it's just some 
Oh, it's not even deck scrap. It's uh, tungsten alloy MK5. So if you don't get that, don't worry about it. Chop somebody's arm off. But I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't get you all of it. Not that I do this for work. This is all volunteer, so... Yeah, that's right. You guys should thank me. Just thinking, I believe that's all the doors that we can open for now. Uh, there is one more door that we will be open, uh, able to open up later uh, when we're at the Great Wall, but that doesn't happen for quite some time. So we can come up here, we'll talk to Warren. to break into the general's office. See, they took the kids, promising a cure for them, and then nobody ever saw them again. Now, does this place look like a hospital to you? The files on the general's computer will reveal the truth, but I can't open the door. So much for my overcharge skills. Guess I'll have to use a key card, like a pleb. We need to find out where they took all the children. Something's going on right under our noses. And guess what? Right behind this door is the General's field office. We just need to find a way in. This time around, though, brute force won't do the trick. We need a key. It might take forever to find that key card. Uh, uh, okay. I'm officially speechless. Always one step ahead, aren't you? In we go, then. Age before beauty. It's promising. Just a bit depressing. No, no, no. Sorry, I need a second to compose myself and take this in. Everything's stored on these files. Every name, every damn experiment. They haven't found a cure for defrag, the nanite disease. But apparently, children's brains, not being fully developed yet, can link with the nanite swarm. And they tried to establish some kind of communication to shut down the nanites, but it looks like the children didn't survive the experiments. Those bastards. Gutenberg. Like Jonah Gutenberg, the founder of Creo? That's some coincidence. Yes, Athena Gutenberg is in the files. It looks like she's alive and she's somewhere in this building. We have to tell the whole world what's happened here. Someone out there's got to be able to help. I'll have to find a way to get out of the city. This is evidence of one of the most heinous acts ever committed. We have to tell the whole... I'll have to... Good luck. Meet me in my hideout when you can. And that gives us the Firebug Throttle as a reward. Firebug Throttle, fire damage weapon, uh, punching gloves, very fast hitting, stacks fire pretty quickly, and base damage is sort of reasonable-ish. Uh, but you see it's a good bit, even, even with the plus 29 damage, it's a good bit behind the Experiment 44H Dark Star, so it only just gets slightly above it, I think. Um, so, decent enough weapon if you want a fast-hitting um, fire weapon. Congratulations on claiming your official AID Response Force book. You will now be able to travel down zip lines at your own convenience. 
Now what I'm going to do is get you a little bit more loot using this force hook before we go turn it in to, for a quest and then have to come back here and get another one. So we'll come over here and we'll get this piece of loot first. Got that one. the force hook again from up here and we're gonna have to drop back down here to get a little bit more loot sneaky sneaky and then we'll run back inside one more time before heading back to the med bay I mean we could run back straight to the med bay from here uh, no more loot for us to get as well run back through and take the official route back or the intended route back so as you can see if you uh, miss those loot items it's not a big deal to run all the way back up here again in just a minute. Talk to Bugface. Hey, Bugface. Another fortune seeker, eh? Let's take a good look around. This place is a testament to our government's hubris. Their might and power turned to dust by their boundless arrogance. These damn bastards deserve nothing less. Me and my guys, we were hired to build the Great Wall. But when the infection started, none of us were allowed to leave. If I still had a force hook, I'd be off to show those traitors. Tell me if you find one, okay? I'll make it worth your while. And I haven't even told you my name yet. That is good. All the money in the world, a swanky Mediterranean mansion, and a hot wife. But I'll make do with a force hook. You might be able to find a force hook somewhere around that old hospital if you keep your eyes open. Nothing this big has ever been built before. A monument to our government's hubris. Think they can keep those nanite bitches trapped in here with tons of cements and magnets? Darn government bastards stiffed me, my boys. Now we're left with nothing. Trapped in this dying crap all of a city. Because we were fools. Hanging on until the very end to finish our job. Didn't realize things would go to hell faster than we could say we're doomed. And now, here we are. They promised we'd be the first to be evacuated. Guess how that went. Seriously? You're actually giving it to me? Just like that? You know you'll have to go all the way back to get another one. Are you sure about this? Well, fine by me. But don't come crying if you change your mind. Our business is done. Take care. That'll get us codename Elise. And we get to run all the way back. I noticed that uh, my banner came in while we were that part so I'll drop another banner back over here oh that wasn't my banner I got a loot I got a good bit of tech scrap from something there um, so we got to run all the way back through and the fact
fastest way actually to do it is to probably just go through the shortcut. So I should have done that. It's fine though, we can take the shortcut from up here. Grab your force hook. On claiming your replacement AID response force book. Your employee account will now be charged. Have a nice day. So we're pretty much done with the AID command. Just uh, two, three more guys, to, you know, two more guys to kill and a couple of loot items to get. Um, and then we'll open up some shortcuts and head out into Jericho City to clean up and get all the items there. And then we will end this episode uh, by heading into Gideon's Rock. Alright, so from the medbay, um, to get to the General Ezra boss fight after we do Gideon's Rock, you're going to come up here and you use the force hook here. And as you come in here, he's going to talk to you on the monitor, yada yada yada. You can come down here. Somebody has left us a banner. Thank you. And then there is an audio log here. Scientific log number 21. We haven't made a breakthrough in understanding the nanites yet. The children seem to be better conduits to the nanites. Their brains are more adaptive. Earlier today, another test subject perished during prolonged endurance testing. Testing continues. got that loot there uh, and do we need to I mean we don't really need to kill these guys now um, the only thing that we get and they do respawn um, so the only thing we get to do is sort of trigger that door there but uh, we can't actually open the door because we don't have the pass from Jonah yet so this is pretty much as far as we can do um, there's nothing really up there to loot so I'm gonna leave those guys alone to get back out of here quickest way is to come down here um, you'll see that's the steps down where we got uh, those two enemies that we weren't able to kill um, or get the weapons from um, and then this is where the other ones come from to ambush you um, so at least you get that pile of, of scrap metal there and so now it's okay to spend our tech scrap and um, spawn respawn the enemies so we'll go ahead and farm up uh, those few pieces of loot that we didn't get so far, finish up the mascot uh, armor set, and then we'll go and open up some shortcuts. should give us enough space to uh, slot another implant, so I'm going to go with energy gain. That'll make me recharge my batteries faster, which will give me health back. And let us farm the mascot and the other guys for their items really quick. Um, for this one... Safest to go for the body once again. Get the 
head this time. Gives us a reinforced crusher from him. Tricky. I'm not sure if he will last long enough for us to get the sever. Let's we'll see. Odd that we got the sever in the arm gear coils, but we don't have his weapon yet, I'm sure of it. Yeah, he drops the 37 Gemini. We can get one more from uh, another shortcut, but I'll try him a couple of more times. Um, and for this one, uh, once again, we can go for the headgear because that's a DLC uh, weapon holding enemy, so we can try for the headpiece. But I believe we've already got all of the implants. So we have four DLC implants other than the ones that are found within the Kraken. They're the energy Energized Material Converter, um, Physical Aggression Stabilizer, the, where is it? Drop, tech, scrap, regenerator, and then the Omni cell uh, battery converter. So we've got all four, so that one shouldn't drop any more implants. But if you're missing some, you can always go for the DLC weapon um, holding heads. Okay, so that one only drops the tungsten. Just to show you, no more implants will drop, even though we hadn't gone for her head. So we've got all four now. And we can just go ahead and farm two more pieces off of the mascot, and I'm going to try and sever the uh, 37 Gemini. We don't get it from him, though. We can get it um, through one of the shortcuts that will open up here in a little while. We did get the reinforced counter, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay. Tungsten cells. Omni cells. He is supposed to drop a weapon. Yeah, well, we'll 
get it through one of the shortcuts that we're going to open up. So one more piece of the mascot set to get, the leg I believe. Yep. We got the full nano uh, ward armor set. We're missing the liquidator and the scarab so far, as well as rhino. Rhino, you can't get it. You can't get it here, but um, you can actually get it in one of the shortcuts. Just gonna give that one guy, that guy, one more time, one more chance to do the right thing and give me the loot. Nope. Even with direction block, we can't get it. Okay. I'm doing way too much damage or something else is going on. Don't know what. Try it outside. Okay, so for the first exit that we're going to want to open up, definitely open up the underground path. Otherwise, you won't be able to open up the fast travel um, in two episodes. For this guy, be a little bit careful uh, because there is a nano scientist guy over there that can take you out. So if you want to pull him separate, deal with him over here. Banner. Having the warning there doesn't help a whole lot. Um, so Hopefully people see that. Now another enemy that is really tricky to uh, really tricky to get uh, the cyber on is this guy down here. Um, so we just got the scarab headgear and 
this guy is weak and just kind of a pain to actually get the sever on. And, and I'm not sure why it is, why it's so difficult to get the sever on him, but he does drop a DLC weapon, which is the Mangled Articulators. Um, so we can actually, and I'll show you where this all connects to, um, so this comes back out into downtown Jericho City, so you can actually farm that guy a couple of times if you want to, to make sure that you get the mangled articulators. So even though we get the sever on that guy, a lot of times you don't get the loot. So I'll go back in and try again. So if you don't get it the first time, come back with a drone, try it with that, and there we go. We got the mangled articulators. Uh, as punching gloves go, not too bad. Uh, good energy gain, a um, little bit slow. Stamina consumption is lower than, than average. Um, good impact, and it's sort of high-ish up there on the damage scale. Oops, why is it not? So high-ish on the damage scale, uh, behind the Salvage Crusher, um, and way behind the Sever Gore. So in my opinion, I probably wouldn't bother upgrading these because we get uh, much better um, punching gloves later on, which are the Iron Mouse Gauntlets. And you, there's also the General's ACU. Since he's here, we might as well get another armor piece. Or not. He went down like a sack of potatoes. No point in farming those guys or fighting those guys. We've already beaten them a bunch of times. So we're going to go open up the next shortcut. Open up the next two shortcuts, we can come back here. First one that we'll want to open up is up the lift here. that and that takes us back to Gateway Bravo. And you can just ignore the guys that are running around, come back out here, open this. Do the important deed of turning in the radiation meds. So you definitely want to do radiation med med turning in prior to um, finishing off General Ezra. So before that fight, before we go in and, and do the boss, make Listen, sure if she's got the meds. Banter, but my time is running short. Just saying. 
Now you can say I brought you meds for what are these meds worth to you or you can turn them into the other doctor for 5,000 tax scrap. Uh, if you want to keep her as a vendor then say I brought your meds. Yeah, right on cue. I'll start treating those schmucks right away. I'm not one to dole out praise but good job out there. Sure, just don't forget to buy something alright? So we have everything right now, but later on she's going to sell other loot um, after the boss kills that we get that we're wanna be, we'll want to be able to buy. So it's better to keep her as a vendor. Back out the main entrance, we could go through the other route if we wanted to, down below through Addy Command, 6 1, half a dozen the other, but keep zoning to a minimum. Let's go this way. Once again, ignore those guys, just run across over here to the mag lift, try not to get knocked off. Don't go in there, instead hang right. Now this guy only has left arm, wow that's kind of disappointing, we already have the arm. We did get the code name Noonlight, so we don't need to worry about these guys' arms anymore. Code name Moonlight, Moonlight, as heavy duty weapons go, is fairly high damage and it matches well with the Angel 6 set. So if you want to use that with Angel, go for it. Um, we saw, we've also got a Rhino set here, so you can farm this guy for Rhino if you want. Um, we'll run into Rhino enemies throughout the game, so um, no need to farm him here. Um, if you want to, though, you can. And I'll just show you, he doesn't have a weapon or anything, it's just the set. And actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to farm him. I'm going to farm him really quick so we get the whole set. Because it's just these two guys, and this is a decent spot to farm it. Um, we can, you know, you can just go in, in and out of this door farm it. Um, there are other rhinos throughout the levels that you won't need to worry about farming it if you don't want to, but I'll just do it. So it sounds like we also got our banner. Um, I'll drop one where if people are at least observant, they'll find it. So I'll be nice on this one. <laughs> or not. Right in the middle of the pathway. How's that? Will that work? There we go. And I'm kind of hoping that I'll get scared pieces off of this guy too, but it looks like he doesn't want to cooperate. Actually, since we're farming those two, um, I'll just double check. I'll come out here and make sure we can get that weapon while we're at it, since we're respawning these guys. You only survive in Jericho City if you know your way around the back streets. Yeah, I get it. Stay in the shadows and all that jazz. You should be glad I took you here. You can't trust anyone these days. Yeah, and if anyone wanted to kill you, take your loot. 
They probably do it right here. Tell me about it. <laughs> I just did, didn't I? Playtime's over. What? You, you bastard. What are you doing? So that guy who just killed is the one that drops the weapon. Looks like we're going to have a little bit of a challenge farming him. If I fail again, then I'm going to switch weapons. There we go. Unarmored, uh, sever with the drone. I-80, or IA-37 Gemini Heavy. So we got all the weapons now. And now that I think about it, we can get the leg off of this guy. And I think there's some li liquidator body parts that we can get around here too, maybe. The reason why I pulled this guy solo is because there's a um, AID hound over there. It looks broken, but it's not actually. And let's see, that guy should drop Liquidator. And that guy is just an annoyance. Trying to make it easy for you guys, but I just lost patience. So for the liquidator set, um, we've got where is it? We've got the arm, so I want to do anything but the arm. So we'll do head next. We don't need to farm um, any more of those guys because we can get the rest of the liquidator set in the rhino. All we're missing is the leg, so we'll get the rhino leg next. Um, this carib set is all full, so there's definitely two uh, liquidators and one rhino um, outside. Uh, so we can go ahead and start moving on with the rest of the content. This opens up a shortcut back to Cloud9. So you can skip that guy, um, the guys up above if you want to, or you can uh, 
fight them for more armor parts. Um, that's the Scarab armor set, and we already have his weapon, which is a code name Moonlight. We're about to get some uh, spider blow explodey spider guys coming in so be careful with that and you also want to kind of avoid the guy with the big weapon there now just to prove there are no more dlc um, implants you can go ahead and take his head off just check to make sure you don't get an implant. So for Liquidator, we still need uh, head, body, and leg. So we'll go for the head now. Sounds like he's going around that side. Yep, there we go. And for Rhino, I believe we still need the leg. Yep. So we'll go ahead and get the Rhino leg. Body for liquidator M. And you want to make sure the, that you loot these so that they don't explode on you when you're trying to come back through here later. Um, if they throw a multi ammo, it explodes and does most of your health and damage. There's also some loot right back here. And we can go over here and fight this. Um, you just want to be a little bit careful. So for Liquidator, we still need the leg. But this is a big ambush spot, basically. And for this guy, um, if you miss the cable carbide whip off of the guy um, in the AID command, then this guy can also drop it. But since I have it already, I'm going to grab the leg. him we're gonna want to get his arm if we can so that should give us a new weapon superheated fire starter so um, I think I showed you the punching gloves already uh, we'll get better later uh, the fire starter is very low base damage but it does have high fire damage but still since it's single rigged it's not gonna stack all that fast so I mean if you want a single rigged uh, 
fire weapon, I suppose, but I'm not sure why you'd want to do that. So this is back out at the scanner gate. Um, got a little bit more loot to get out here. Can take out this guy hitting whatever part you want. You should have the full set by now. Come down here, and there is a shortcut. This is another spot where you can get the uh, Rig XL implant. This door opens back up to that alleyway that was kind of um, sh had an audio log in it and leads back to the s mad scientist guy in that um, chest that we got in the first episode. And when you come up here, you want to be a little bit careful. Um, and you want to target his head and go for his hat. That gives you this Marshall's Wrangling hat, which unfortunately has bad stats, but uh, it does look pretty cool if you want to use that one. And this is kind of a shout out to their first DLC in the, uh, the Surge original surge game so this was an area that you could explore it's too bad they didn't bring it back that would have been perfect now for this guy he drops a weapon so you're going to want to go for his right arm that drops the totem wolf tomahawk totem wolf tomahawk one-handed weapon pretty decent actually so Tied for highest base uh, DPS, even against the codename Moonlight. Um, and it's an okay weapon. Looks cool, too. Who'd you think you are? Mad Doc Richpotter? Man Moose? Can go for his weapon, but we've already got it. And we've already cleared out that whole courtyard down there. All you guys with your big hammers. Alright, we've cleared out this whole area now. Um, there's no point in doing anything other than one secret, super secret, sneaky hidden area that was driving me nuts on my first playthrough on the, the uh, Let's Play. And as you see there, there it is. problem is if we go down there um, we're going to be taking a bunch of poison damage and coming back out can be a real pain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap in a the toxic uh, protection. There we go. And hopefully we 
last long enough that it's not too bad of a problem. Getting back up is more difficult, though. And in two episodes, we're going to be um, coming back down into the underground on the other side there. And when we do, we don't want to have to deal with, um, well, you'll basically come through the underground on the other side of that grate, and there's no way to get back in here. So unless we came in from this side, you would see that piece of loot over here. And at least for me, it drove me up a wall, like trying to figure out how to get back in here. Um, and it's so totally from an entirely different area where you actually come in. And this is a secret. So when you come out here, all of those guys that we just killed are going to be respawned. So what we're going to want to do is try not to get the toxic effect and just get out of dodge and run for the med bay. So um, keep jumping, keep running, try and stay mobile. And just get out and go over here to the med bay. Um, there's one thing that I just realized that I forgot to do too, which I forgot to tag the resistance symbol in AID headquarters, so I'm going to run over and do that. And the quickest way back into AID command is right down here. not going to bother killing anything, I'm just going to um, run through. come back out here, I'll plant the symbol of the resistance someplace obvious. There you go, symbol of the resistance. And we'll head out this way because now we can use this shortcut to get back to um, Cloud9. For these guys too, no need to kill them, we'll just run through. We did get the last rhino piece we needed, right? Liquidator's all set, yep. Rhino's all set. Taking the job at the D side court instead. This party's a total bust. 
Oh yeah, you might have noticed this door over here too. You can actually, you can't open it until after Ezra, so don't worry about it. Come over and talk to our good buddy over here, Dan. Why is nobody telling me what happened to those kids? I need another drink. See, I told you things would be fine. Wait, what? Why did they? Why? Why did they? Why? Why did I? Oh my god! Is this my fault? in the machine it would have happened either way right right i don't think so dan and that to me is the saddest quest alone. along with what happens to athena shows how horrible people can be all right so we've got twenty thousand um tech scrap i'm gonna level up a little bit more now have one more implant spot. I'm gonna swap my implant back out. Um, and I believe I was using. Where did it go? There it is. And so I can slot in one with six requirement, up to six. test that out a little bit. This one is pretty help helpful too, but yeah, I think I'm just going to do that one. Haven't used it a whole lot, so I'm going to test that one out. Um, there are some other good ones that are below six requirement, but I think I'm just gonna stick with that one for now. Having nano damage resistance uh, when we're fighting through this area is kind of helpful though. Um, so that's another one to consider. And the battery adrenalizer. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna stick with my usual build and do the battery adrenalizer. Good enough. So we are good to go for the next area, which is Gideon's Rock. I am going to step outside of Gideon's Rock quickly. Um, that'll let us tag Gideon's Rock, and then we can come back in and finish the tag attack quest, and then we'll end the episode with that. immediately want to tag and you'll get the update go back to the DJ and cloud nine bar um, now I'm not sure if you leave and then you come back in you still get the cutscene or not so there is a cutscene that's right over there you can see the nano beast up top that is the Delver There's some loot there, the elemental intensifier, which increases your elemental damage. Probably not worth it. And we'll come out here and see the cutscene. Attention all units. The creature's gone berserk. Now go ahead and take these guys out. I think we can help each other. Be 
lead us in the camp at the cliff. We're not with the other hunters. That gives us our first piece of the Jaguar body gear. Uh, which isn't bad. So you you get um, your Omni cells back over time when you get energy. And it lets you uh, carry additional Omni cells. So this is really built around using your drone as a weapon. So if you're doing a drone build, then that's the way to go. So we'll come back out here, turn in tag attack, and end the episode. my friend tag like your life depends on it well let's see you've tagged the city center cool you've tagged port nixon nice you've tagged gideon's rock awesome you've tagged aid command stylish you've tagged the cathedral sweet and you even put a tag underground great job hey wait a sec you're all done the signal has been sent. People are rising up all over town to fight the man. Our founder told me to give you this. It's the secret weapon of the resistance, outlawed in 196 countries. Keep fighting the good fight, man. You rule. That gives us the MG Striggle, which, as you can see, has pretty decent base damage, even higher than what I'm using now, and has insane fire damage. And it's twin rigged. So the fire damage is going to stack really, really fast. And it's got high enough base damage that the combination of the two actually puts the total DPS above the AAD Type 11 Overseer. So this is a good weapon. If you want fire, this is a way to go. Along with a couple other fire weapons that we'll get in the Kraken. So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed watching and found it useful. We will see you back for the next one soon.